Welcome to Cooking with Paula Darlene. I do this as a hobby. I hope everybody enjoys. I hope I'm inspiring everybody to cook. And uh, I know everybody's kind of getting cooped up in the house and getting tired of cooking. So I hope I'm inspiring everybody to have some ideas and change things up a little bit. So today I'm going to do fried pork chops. Um, I have, I'm using milk, I'm using flour, um, cornmeal, I have, I'm just cooking for my husband and myself, so I only have three pork chops, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them, and right now they're soaking in vinegar, and then I have some seasonings on the side. So first I'm going to um, make sure that my pork chops are um, going to be flat enough, so what I do is I usually just stick them in a plastic bag, and I take my little pot, I don't have a hammer, a mallet, and flatten. Am I going to stress in the house? This is my work. Relieve your stress. Alright. All we're doing is we're just flattening it enough to where you don't want to make, you know, mushed up hamburger pork chops. So we're just making it thin enough to where when we fry it, it's not going to stay on in the, in the fryer for very long. So we're just going to take it back into the, to, to the bowl and we'll just finish the rest of them. And if you bag plus, just get another one, or use saran wrap, or whatever you have on hand. Work out that tension. And over it's got a little bit to drop it down the side. Okay, there's that one. And they're, they're just thin enough to where they're um, not paper thin, but enough to where they're not really thick like this one. This one's not pretty thick. No one, you want them all consistent. Just stick this one in here too. And you can trim it up. This is how bones on them. I trimmed around the bones. is I'm going to put my pork chops in another bowl because I don't want the milk to stuff with the vinegar. And I am just going to pour the milk, just regular milk. I just remember it changes it to, it changes it to a different type of texture when you fry it. Then I have just a regular bowl and I'm going to put a little bit of flour and a little bit of cornmeal, just kind of like Half and half. And if you don't have cornmeal, that's fine. If you want to use something else, that's fine too. Have a little seasoning. And all I did was I just used seasoning salt, garlic, pepper, salt, whatever you're. So I'm going to take the pork chop, and it's been soaking in the in the milk. It doesn't have to be a lot. And I'm going to take it. Dredging, dredging it, pouring it, and coating it in my onion. Shake up a little bit. Let, I have a good easy time. Now we're going to go to the fryer. 